I'm so fascinated by your character, and I have so much admiration for what you bring to him. So I, I was really stopped in my tracks a bit with the line he says about how one of the, the worst punishments is having your wish come true. Yes. And so I, I really want to pick your brain about that line and see yes. what was firing off for you when you heard that or read that and how you relate to it or don't relate to it. That line, when it comes out, he's been waiting for the prophet to turn up for over a hundred years. So, you know, you're going to face your nemesis in one's respect. And at the same time, it's a you're waiting for your love, your beloved. Uh, in that context of the religious sense and that moment is arising and is coming uh, so uh, when we get that line it's really you are about to face what you believe in mm -hmm. and it's coming closer and closer and closer and it's been told that it's going to appear so uh, you know it's it, it, it's the wantingness and then to actually it's going to happen uh, the resurrection in one way yeah of 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 uh selden uh so it's a, within it you're confronting your own existence as well uh and what your own ideas and your own beliefs are about your own faith uh, about hope so you are coming to that crossroad with that line and knowing that it's gonna happen yeah yeah considering how much he believes in uh, in harry selden and does does diving into his character uh, the characters as well as your character's uh, beliefs and perspectives, how how would you say that that has stretched your intellect and your spirituality, as you suggested there? On a personal basis, because you want to make uh, the character part of you, because as an actor, that's your approach, uh, is to embrace the character and make him believable and real, to make it understanding. Uh, yes. I do follow a spiritual path. Yes, I do believe in a living prophet. So I can very, re very much relate to the idea of Polly. You become very responsible on the journey that you are on with Polly of waiting for your beloved and wanting to see him again as much as like I say it is the resurrection here and the idea of I don't I don't I call them the necessarily as much as Polly don't believe in religion in a religious aspect because it is consistently with that word you look to the past mm -hmm. you with Polly and my, you always have to look to the future and at the same time I think living the moment and he does that very much through his vices, mm -hmm. living the moment to get to the future. But his aim and his beliefs are of freedom. Right. And equality. And at the same time, uh, the idea of democracy as well within mm -hmm. all that. So as Polly, he is not religious because he's more scientific with it, but he's yeah. selling his words. He's selling his ideas, Selden's ideas, you could even say, in a religious format, because it's easier for people to understand it and to be attracted by it. And yeah. that's been in our realities in the world since day one. You can go back to the Egyptians. You can go back to Christianity even to the ideas of um, Islam or any other religious format. It's the recruitment through religion within their own aspects mm -hmm. of their way, their, their way of life. But here they're selling it in the same way. What, what he's really, really selling is humanity's progress. But right. they think that the best way to do it is to go into symbolism. Mm -hmm. 
So it becomes very symbolic in that way of, of selling uh, foundation and the galactic spirit itself in its church. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, again, it becomes real because it's materialistic. It, it's there. It's not spiritual. It's not supernatural. And he says that. He says it's progressive. Right. We can, because the advancement of technology and uh, you can actually take mind and matter and create uh, materialism and that's what makes it attractive mm. but it is scientific i don't right, know if right. that i mean there is a density to that it's quite <laughs> to understand that you know uh and i can understand that in a spiritual sense as well yeah uh, uh and not in a religious sense uh and I love that about uh, this creation of foundation. It, it works on facts and proof. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you've got these things of profit as well. Monetary ideas, money. Those are uh, all, all, you know, uh, what, why are those, why, what is it raise money for? What, to make more arms? To kill more people? Which he rejects, he doesn't want. And because we're human, we have these desires of wanting more and more. And we have these egos of I and I am, me and me, my mm -hmm. piece of land, my piece. This is, this is you know, so uh, the human condition is like that. We, are, we as humans are like that. So in the world that that has an ide ide ideology it's very difficult in this world to cre to obtain perfection uh, and but through selden's idea of of uh, of using mathematics as a as a prime radiant to start predicting with data the future he is he is you are starting to predict destiny so what is destined is coming to the level of saying it's written and he's right and he's and he's been having the ability to write destiny again mm. uh, so uh, uh, i can relate to it on a personal basis to polly and what i want polly to do uh, whereas in the end he has the heart and the feel for the people because he doesn't want the suffering. Mm -hmm. Because it's not fair. Yeah. Because, because we, we, because it's not the politicians that necessarily do the killing and the fighting and die. It's, this, it's the people. And when there's a crisis like that, then you have revolution and you say, no, it's not right. And that's the betrayal in one sense from, uh, from Selden, I for him, because he believed in him for that, because he thought maybe we found someone that will speak for the people. But really, is he? So that's, he's questioning that and that's, he starts to question his own faith then. Mm -hmm. And when you start questioning, it's not spiritual then, see, it's, it's not internal. It's physical, it's facts, it's there, it's happening. Yeah. That's where I feel where Polly is and where he's coming. That's what I feel, what I felt myself when I read what I wanted to do with Polly. Yeah. It's to make him genuine and honest as well, but not judgmental. He's not here to give guilt. You're, you shouldn't be doing this. It's not that form of religion for him. That's why he didn't want to be a religious leader. He didn't want foundation to go down the religious ways because that's manipulation. But then again, how do you save people? What do you do? How do you gather the masses? To follow a particular way of life, you know, um, uh, 
and that's why um, uh, I can relate to him. Yeah, yeah. I, they're giving me the wrap, but really, thank you so incredibly oh. much for <laughs> going there with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you get the opportunity to do like a commentary on every aspect of this show because you deserve that spotlight. Thank you very much. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Bye. Thank you.